The next colligative property that we'll explore is freezing point. Now the freezing point of a solution is lower than the freezing point of the, the solvent that makes up that solution. For example, the freezing point of salt water is lower than the freezing point of just pure water. Now that freezing point can, the freezing point of the solution can be solved for quantitatively. So let's look at this example to see how that can be. So what is the freezing point of a solution containing 85.3 grams of ethylene glycol? dissolved in 1500 grams of water. Now the equation that governs the relationship between the freezing point um, of the solute, sorry, the solvent and of the solution is delta T sub F equals I times K sub F times the molality. This is very similar to the boiling point elevation equation. It's just regarding freezing points, not boiling points. Now I is our factor regarding you know what substance is being dissolved into the solution. And when dissolved, does it dissociate into different particles or does it remain one particle? You know, i.e., is it an ionic solid or a molecular solid? In this case, our solid is ethylene glycol which we can see that it is a molecular solid. So I is going to be equal to one because C2H6O2 is a molecular solid and it will not dissociate into other particles besides the one particle. K sub F is a constant. It's our freezing point depression uh, molal constant. And for water, it is 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. Don't need that there. And the molality we have to calculate. It is not given to us in this problem, but we know that molality is your moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. Now, if we go to solve that, we know we have to find moles of solute, so we use the mass given to us. And we use the molar mass of our particular solute and the molar mass of C2H6O2 ethylene glycol is 62.08 grams per one mole. The grams cancel, and that will give me moles of my solute per kilogram of solvent. My solvent is dissolved in 1500 grams of water. So in kilograms, that's 1.500 kilograms of water. Once we simplify, my molality is equal to 0 0.92 molal. Now, Knowing my molality, I can solve for delta T. And I'm solving for delta T because I eventually would like to get to know what my final temperature is, uh, which is the final freezing point of my solution. So delta T sub F is equal to 1 times K sub F, which is 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal times the molality itself, which is 0 0.92 molal. So my change in temperature of the freezing points is 1.7 degrees Celsius. Now this is not the final answer, this is just the change in temperature. The change um, between the freezing point of just pure solvent, which would be water, in comparison to the freezing point of a solution of ethylene glycol. Since we know that the freezing point of the solution is lower than the freezing point of just pure solvent, we have to use the difference of those two. So we know that the freezing point of water is zero. 0.00 degrees Celsius 
we know that the freezing point of the solution is going to be lower than this, so we subtract delta T from the normal freezing point, and we get negative 1.7 degrees Celsius as the new freezing point of our solution of ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol is one of the main chemicals used in antifreeze to lower the freezing point of water.